My eight-year-old daughter told me she hates being alone with her mom because she's always yelling at her. I asked my wife how everything is going when I'm not around, and she says everything is fine. Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, would I be the a-hole if I put up spy cams around my house to see what my wife is doing? But before embarking on the expedition to knowledge, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. My eight-year-old daughter recently confided in me that she hates being alone with her mom because her mom is always yelling at her. I've asked my wife how everything is going when I'm not around. She insists that things are fine. Now I'm considering whether I would be the a-hole if I put spy cameras around the house to see for myself. I love my wife and I have never had a reason to distrust her in all the years I've known her. She has been the most supportive and loving person in my life until now, and I thought she was a great mother. Okay, if I had five bucks for every time a guy I know or a story I have done where the husband says they thought they had a great relationship, or a wife or mother until I'd be making bank. The sad truth is love is blind and if your daughter's allegations are true then she has not only fooled you but you miss the tales and red flags along the way. Abusers don't just happen. It's always in them. You just missed it. This is also why I say you need to take at least four to five years before you consider marriage to dig and really learn about someone's belief systems, history, and parent relationships. Even then, this is no guarantee, just better probabilities. Two nights ago, I was watching TV with our daughter when she suddenly told me she needed to tell me something. But I had to swear I wouldn't tell her mom. When I asked her why her mother couldn't know, she instantly dropped the subject. I had to prod her for a few minutes, but she wouldn't say what it was until I swore I wouldn't tell anybody. She finally revealed that her mom hates her, and sometimes when they're alone, will yell and insult her for making too much noise or not doing one of her chores. She said her mom even cusses her out. My daughter started crying as she told me everything, and I assured her I'd figure something out without telling her mom what she shared. All right, I'm sorry for you and for her, my brother. As a father, this must be one of the most heart-wrenching moments you've experienced so far. For context, my wife works from home, and I am a pilot, so they spend a lot of time together when it's just the two of them. Before this, I thought they got along great. When I'm at home, I've seen our daughter make a ruckus while my wife is working. If I didn't ask her to keep it down, my wife does but it's always been in a firm way without yelling or insults. It's quick and to the point, but my daughter makes it sound like when it's just the two of them, she gets completely berated. Now, I'm trying to figure out the logical course of action. I feel I should just have a talk with my wife, but on the off chance she's not the person I think she is, and is actually verbally abusive, she might pretend to be innocent, then take it out of my daughter behind my back. 
This is careful and well-reasoned. You are correct. What if she's guilty? What if she's not? Either way, there's going to be some pain. I think you're correct. You need more definitive information and hard evidence. Before you confront your wife, your fear that she will take it out on your daughter is reasonable and rational. One of my best friends and my brother both suggest I buy some spy cameras and let them record for a week or so. If the behavior is as frequent as my daughter says, I should be able to catch her in the act. However, I feel guilty about doing this behind my wife's back, and I'm worried that if she's innocent and finds the cameras, she'll feel betrayed and violated for being recorded in our home without her consent. First off, you are not the a-hole. This is your home. This is your marriage. This is your daughter. Screw privacy. As a man, as a father, you have to provide and you must protect. Therefore, wire the damn house. If your wife is not guilty, then you need to put your daughter probably in counseling and address that issue. However, if she's guilty, then you need to take the evidence to a divorce attorney, since you can't stay with this woman, and do what the lawyer tells you. You may have to stand by and let her suffer for a few extra days, since the court system will not be on your side. Be smart here. Don't go off half-cocked. If you do, you will lose, and your daughter will lose even more. The goal is to have enough evidence to get full custody of your daughter. I'm aware that you do not want to face your worst fear that the woman you married is not who you thought she was, and how painful that will be. When it comes to things like this, you need to cowboy up and put your little girl first. I know it's going to hurt. Deal with that pain later. Do what a father and a man must do first. Yes, it may mean the end of your marriage, and that sucks. That will be painful, especially when your wife pulls every trick in the book to force you into reconciliation. I would say don't. She can go to counseling on her own time. Perhaps down the road you can have a new relationship. However, I would not get her hopes up. Another alternative is to have your lawyer prepare a postnuptial agreement, giving you full custody of your daughter, then the house and whatever assets you deem necessary. Use this to motivate her to seek help. And if you are not satisfied with the results, you can then divorce her and the settlement issues are already solved in your favor. Yes, you are using what you have as leverage to get the deal you want. However, if she does have a problem and she does not overcome it, then it's a win-win. If not, you have an out the family courts would not easily give you since you make more money and your mail. The day you have her served, you need to tell both sets of parents what is happening and show them the evidence so your wife can't lie to friends and families about what is happening. I know it's as a man, it is our instinct to keep things private. However, this will work against you. Always control the narrative, or she will find a way to make you the bad guy for taking a strong, stoic measures. Lastly, I know it has been your dream to be a pilot. However, you may have to give that up to get full custody, unless your lawyer says the court will accept a nanny mixed 
with your parents to care for her while you work. Ultimately, if you want to win, do what your lawyer tells you. In the comments below, give this brother advice, support, or please tell your personal story if you've experienced what the daughter as a child has experienced when you were a child. If you are one of the 89.4% of this unsubscribed who watch my channel and found value in this channel, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, share this channel with at least three friends who need to learn from it. Confession is good for the soul and this channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share or if you see an article you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my local Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these right now and watch another. Until next time.